Hello guys, myself Balkrishna Pujari. Today we are learning how to solve the simply supported beam problem in ANSYS or uh, in CA problems. So let's start the experiment number one in CA and SPPO syllabus. This is the experiment number one. The aim of the experiment is stress and deflection analysis of a beam using finite element package. So we are using here the ANSYS 22 R1. The stress distribution in the beam with the uniformly distributed load, uniformly varying load, and the point load acting on a B. So here the overhanging beam, one side is a fixed, one side is a roller support, one is a UDN, UVN, and point load acting on an upward side. <coughs> Go further. ANSYS in the mechanical EP here. Launcher. So here we have to set the high performance computing setup. So in that we have to use, use shared memory parallel. So after that, go for the run. So this window will be pop up. So here, first we start with the reference structure Pro preprocessor element add element element in that we are considering as a B two node one eighty eight element. Okay, close. So then the material properties, material model. So here we have to set the material as material linear elastic isometric. In that, in the statement already given, the angst model is 200 GP and the boil size is 0.2. In that we have to add in that. That. So Px is the angst modulus and the Brxy is for the Poisson's ratio. So he uh, 2 e raised to 5 and here the point to 5. So add it and close and exit. So after that go for the section. In the section beam, common section. In that we have to consider the R section of the beam. So in the statement already mentioned the dimension. That is 15 into 10. So that we are considering here, the B is 50 and height is 10 and we have VVV, so after that, okay. So then go for the modern, more create, key point, actresius. That is more. So the distance will be first, well, three point will be start from the zero, so it was a 30, 20, no, zero to 40, another will be of 80, another will be of 100. So like that we have to consider for the three point generation. So uh, we go for the more uh, answers uh, window. So in that next is yes, the first here we have to add the key point number or else put as blank, it will be taken like we take the numbering of the key point. First one will be applied as a zero. Black will be considering as a zero, and the first one will be twenty, and second will be for the forty, and the next will be for the eighty, and the last one will be for hundred. Okay, close. Now fit the uh, the window. Then you get the key point generation. So five key point here and the hit. Now go for the line. In that the line, straight line. So for consider the first point key point to the second key point and okay. For second to the third, okay. Third to the fourth, okay. Fourth to the fifth, okay. Now go for the meshing. So in that we have to uh, consider the mesh tool. In that mesh tool we have to consider this one, second one and the last one. So we have to divide in a number of parts whenever we considering the UDL. Are the, the common one you have to divide in a number of parts however you want. In a UVL, you have to consider the whole length will be in a one element only. So we are setting the first the line in the set. We have setting the first set and it's going to be the second set. Now from here to here and here to here we are considering the number of parts divided into or ten parts. This one is ten part, this one is ten part, and this one is ten part. 
and remaining you will be considering for the one element so now go for the mesh and now uh, consider pcol now the total element total beam will be meshed so see here the key points we have got it the key points now we have to apply the boundary conditions the boundary conditions in that the node define node apply structure displacement now we have to consider this one will be the odd india freedom where we uh, the total uh, fixed or uh, support have given okay and then go for this point where we are apply uh, you up uh, oh roller support <clears throat> this one will be the fixed support and this one will be the parola support okay now we have to apply the load so for the load in that apply pressure or force on node in the last point in the y direction uh, if it is downward we have to consider the negative value it is upward now now we have to consider the positive value only so the positive 15 or 20,000 kilo newton this will be the 20,000 kilo newton and uh, now we have to consider the 10 kilo newton and this is only the 20 kilo newton Now go for the pressure on beam. In the box and from here to here, you here have to consider this uh, selecting the elements now. So here one window will be pop up. In that, first you have to consider the key load as a two. And then you have to add the pressure value of I only, not for the J. If we are considering the I and J, that will be for the UVL not for the UVL in the UDN only we are considering the pressure of node I so here we are applying the 10 kN per meter square ten kN per mm now same again we have to consider for this B that the UVL load the whole and uh, the length we have converted in a one element only so here we have to apply first as a maximum value and second as a zero value as per the statement in the diagram this will be the maximum value and this will be the zero value that you have to add i value is a maximum j value will be the zero well apply this apply and ok so this will be like this, this will be the maximum value, this will be the minimum value. So, we have applied the boundary condition as well as force applied on the P. Now, go for the solution, solve, current LS, ok, solution is done. Now go for the general post processor for the result uh, display plot plot result nodal solution and in that the D, uh, DOF solution in that the displacement so this is a deflection value of a beam so we are converted in the isometric wheel here the uh, color code will be shows that the maximum to meaning meaning of the maximum. So here the animation you have to check the DB of freedom, deform and deform and OK. So it will be showing that the def deformation or deflection is a this the oh, blue line will be shows that the deflection.
now we are checking the stress value in that the one is stress this is the value so again we are going for the animation con plot control in animation in that in the stress and the one is stress and ok so this is a, a stress value animations maximum to the minimum for the elemental solution uh, so you can uh, check by using the stress so both for the co counter block and that the element solution and the stress value where you apply putting the stress value you will get the elemental solution for that particular uh, beat now both for the static size and shape if you want to check the total beam this is the shape of the beam the actual beam what you have given in the section this is that section of the beam now check the more shape again so how it will be oh animate or how it will be more or how it will react on the stress So if you want to change the background color as a white, so I can go for and go for the plot control. Style side now uh, style and like the color and reverse video. So we will get the background color as a white. So for the uh, recent uh, breakout, we can put the background color as white or white and so you will get the color visibility theory. So I'm checking again the uh, deflection value, that is a DOF value, or how it will react on maximum DOF, coming on video. Okay, thank you for watching the video, share and subscribe.